Have you ever set goals but at the end of the day, you failed to achieve them because you lost your focus? You got distracted by other things, you lost your motivation, and eventually you stopped working on them? Hey there, this is Sean from stunningmotivation.com. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you will learn more about personal development and achieving greater success in life. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can prevent yourself from losing focus on your goals. And there are three ways how you can do this. Are you ready? Let's talk about the first method right now. The first strategy that will prevent you from losing your focus is this. Commit to just one thing. You see, achieving outstanding success and reaching your goal may not be an easy task. And so, you want to make sure you focus fully on just one goal at a time. Too often, many people make the mistake and believe that the more goals they have, the better. But this is not true at all. If you have more than 10 tasks on your to-do list, it simply means that you don't know how to prioritize. You have no idea how to follow Pareto's 80-20 rule. More is not always merrier. Once, researchers conducted an experiment about the choices of gems and the number of sales. They discovered that the more choices of gems they provided for shoppers, the fewer sales they got. They call it the gem experiment. You can check out this video to learn more about the experiment. As you now know, the more options you have, the less likely you can focus better. And this is why you want to limit your choices and options. And that means focus on just one thing. When you try to catch two rabbits at the same time, you won't catch either one. So here's what you can do. If you always find it hard to focus on your goals, try commit to the principle of the one thing. Identify your most important goal and work on it. If you find yourself having too many things to do, you have too much on your plate, apply the same principle as well. Identify the most impactful task, just one, and then put all your attention and focus on it. Get one thing done before you move on to the next one. This will prevent you from losing your focus. So, what is the number one goal you want to achieve? What is the one target you should put 100% focus to? Find out your one thing and work on it monomaniacally. Strategy number two, to prevent yourself from losing your focus on your goals, do this. Start small. Take just one small step at a time. Success isn't going to happen overnight. And obviously, success isn't going to come to you with just one decision or action. Success is the accumulation of many small steps. Imagine if you take only 5 little actions every day. In a week, you will have completed 35 small action steps. And in a month, you will have created 150 small wins. In a year, you will have accomplished 1,825 small victories. And I'm sure these 1,825 small victories added up will change your life in a big way. Don't you think? That's exactly how Dale Carnegie came up with a book that has sold over 30 million copies across the world. How to Win Friends and Influence People is one of the best selling books of all time. But do you know how Carnegie managed to get the book published? At first, Carnegie was preparing a talk and he needed materials for the talk. And so, he created a set of rules printed on a card no larger than a postcard for his audience. Then, his audience grew and he needed something better. And so, he turned the card into a larger card, then a leaflet, then a series of booklets, each expanding in size and scope. 15 years later, the materials for his talk turned into a full-length book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. It all started small. Now, if you still doubt whether you should start small with manageable steps, take a look at this picture. This is why you want to start small. So here's what you should do. If you want to avoid losing focus on your goals, then start small. You don't have to commit to doing 100 push-ups every day. It will only make you suffer, right? Instead, commit to doing a minimum number, such as 30 push-ups every day, 
and then increase gradually. You don't have to write 100 blog posts or create 100 videos for your YouTube channel. You just need to get one done as of this moment. When you focus on getting started and taking small steps, it lowers the resistance and you are more likely to take action. And this will ultimately prevent you from losing your focus on your goals. All right, all right. You have learned two simple strategies on how to prevent yourself from losing focus on your goals. Now, it is time to learn the final one here. The third method is this. Focus on progress, not results. This is one of the most important distinctions between someone successful and someone who is not. Successful people understand that progress is key, not results. They just want to get the work done and push forward. On the other hand, unsuccessful people focus only on getting the results. Whenever they don't get the results they want, they feel bad, frustrated, and they lose their motivation, which eventually makes them give up on their goals. Let me give you an example. I've seen many bloggers who wanted to build a successful blog, but all they do is focus on the results, the traffic, subscribers, earnings, etc. They write and publish a few blog posts, but after a few weeks or months later, when they don't get the results they desire, the traffic, the subscribers, the earnings, they tend to lose hope. They then lose their motivation to continue and they quit on their goal. Never let this happen to you. The same with people who want to lose weight or start a YouTube channel. When you focus on the results and when you are not getting any of them, you will feel dejected and you will lose your motivation and so with your focus. This is why you want to commit to making progress, not result. Do you know James Clear, the best-selling author of Atomic Habits, has a very successful blog? Before he published Atomic Habits, he started with a blog. He used to publish twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday. Regardless of whether people read his articles, it didn't matter. He just wanted to make progress. He focused on making progress. Sometimes his articles were good and sometimes they were just so-so. And as he consistently published on his blog, his audience grew, his number of subscribers grew, he built a large audience and eventually published a best-selling book that changes life. Atomic Habits is one of the top books on my recommended reading list. You should get the book and read it right away. Therefore, don't focus on the results. Instead, focus on making progress. I have a blog at stunningmotivation.com and just like James Clear, I don't focus on the results. I focus on making progress. I publish a new content every week and I have been doing it for over 5 years now. And because I don't care about the results or the metrics like the number of subscribers, number of traffic, or how much earnings I'm getting from ads, etc. I managed to grow my blog to getting more than a thousand visitors a day. The same goes if you want to lose weight. Focus on the progress, not the weight on the weighing scale. You don't have to stand on the weighing scale every day. Just commit to making the progress. When you focus on the result but you are not getting it or seeing any improvement, you will start to doubt yourself. You will feel down, you will feel dejected, and you will lose your motivation. This is why when it comes to execution, you should focus on making progress, not the result or the goal. So this is the third strategy how you can prevent yourself from losing focus on your goals. I hope by now you understand what you need to do to maintain your focus, to keep your motivation high, and to not lose your focus. First, focus on just one goal. Second, start extremely small. And third, focus on making progress, not the goal or the result. If you stick to these three principles, trust me, you will have no problem maintaining your motivation and focus for your goals. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. This way, you will support this channel and also receive more videos about personal development and achieving greater success in life. That's all for now. See ya!